Hello, this is Kel Kellogg of the Fish Niffer Magazine. Last winter, Ellen Bonslin and I headed out to the West Delta for a day of sturgeon fishing with Captain Brandon Beecham. Brandon operates Championship Sport Fishing. After bathing up with grass shrimp and ghost shrimp, Brandon tossed the rods in the water and then explained how to properly execute a sturgeon bite. A lot of anglers are confused when it comes to properly setting the hook on a sturgeon, so this information should be helpful. So basically, when they're in the rod holder, it's going to be a I'm eating your bait. Okay? When that happens, what I want you to do is look at that tip, and I want you to hone in on where that tip's at. And I want you to just ease it out of the rod holder, leaving that tip. You don't want to take it away from them or give it to them. You just want to keep it right where it's at. Then you want to get a good stance. Put your thumb on the, the line right there so you can feel a bite. And as he's, he's biting, you know, down, up, down, up, what they're doing is they're sucking it in and they're spitting it out. They're sucking it in and they're spitting it out. So what you want is on the downward pump, as soon as you get into that, you know, downward pump, on that downward pump, you want to rail back, set the hook as hard as you can, and keep your tip all the way up. I don't look like I'm starting to get a bite. Leave your, leave your tip all the way up, and as soon as you get that tip all the way up, I want you to start cranking. We want to put as much pressure as we can on the fish right off the bat. Have a really tough mouth, and we want to bury that hook in them. On these balance beams, it's going to hit a little differently because they're so uh, soft here. You're basically going to, you know, you might get a little, little action like that, and then it might go all the way down, okay? If it goes all the way down and it's on the downward motion, you can just grab the rod holder, pick it up, set the hook as hard as you can, as long as you're quick. Most of the time what we want to do is when it's going like this, okay, we want to just pick it up. Get in our hand, same thing with that one. Put your thumb on the line right there, put your hand down here, wait for that downward pump. On the downward pump, set the hook as hard as you can and start reeling on it. If you set the hook and, and you didn't get the fish, it doesn't matter. You're going to lose your bait or spook the fish, so it's not like you're going to drop it back and let them take it. So you want to set the hook, reel as fast as you can. A lot of times what happens is people will set the hook and they think, you know, they felt it and they go, oh, wait a minute, I don't feel anything. And they look at their tip and all of a sudden a big old sturgeon comes sailing up out of the top of the water. A lot of times they'll come straight up to the surface right off the bat. We've had sturgeon jumping around us all morning here, so we've got a sturgeon on the line. We don't know how big it is, but it is bending that rod allen. So, so, what's the key to landing a sturgeon when you got one on? What should a new guy do that's never fought one Just before? Just basically hold tight, keep pressure on him, and let him do his own thing. Let him run. Uh, typically, here we go. Oh. Oh. Could it be a double? No. I missed it. That was a good pump. They're biting. That was a good pump. They're biting. Pretty typical sturgeon fight here. Sometimes they stay on the bottom, sometimes they come up and jump. This one's staying right down on the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's a shaker. Is he a shaker? Yep. Yeah. yep. <clears throat> this is what we want to see in our fishery. Yeah. The shakers like this because this means it's a healthy population. Beautiful so fish. Got, uh, you know, your, your children will catch this fish and it'll be a keeper. Good deal. It'll be for quite a while though.